Dr. Ram Mohan Rao. Dr. P. Ram Mohan Rao, a retired Deputy Director of Fisheries, Andhra Pradesh, has vast experience in shrimp aquaculture, particularly in seed quality, pond water and soil management, and disease surveillance. He received the Best Field Officer in Fisheries Department Award from the Government of Andhra Pradesh in 2010. He is a resource person for extension programs and has published popular articles in Telugu and English for the benefit of shrimp farmers. He gave a presentation on effective pond management, the key to sustainable shrimp farming in the Bafak 2020 in Surat. Good evening all. I will just brief one or two points which are very important for the farming sector. So here uh, uh, you all know my talk will be all these things. But uh, most of them are covered in my previous uh, speakers by uh, Dr. Jitendran and uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Ashish. So I will just concentrate on one or two points where the farmers need to focus upon. Uh, this is how the pond preparation can be uh, taken up. First, uh, you need to take out the sludge and dry the ponds. Most of the Venami ponds have been not been uh, dewatered because People are stocking, harvesting, stocking and harvesting. But the time has come now to go for drying of the ponds. That is more important. Without drying, the EHP problem will much focus, much uh, rampant. So here, biosecurity is the most important thing, which most of the people are keeping these biosecurity for namesake. Uh, they are keeping some small crab fencing and ball fencing, and after the second crop, the same fencing will be there with a lot of holes in it. So it, it needs to be meticulously planned, biosecurity is the most important one. Then this uh, already has been dealt by previous speakers, the central drainage system is most important because sludge removal is the most important one for removal of uh, uh, EHP problem from your pond. So radial flow of water with the arrangement of proper arrangement of aerators will definitely concentrate the sludge to the uh, central drainage system where you can remove the sludge from the central drainage system or stream toilet. So here, most important is the, this one. Most of the farmers are neglecting this particular uh, concept because they are not going for testing of the soil. Soil is the most critical factor, what I mean to say, more than the water. Because in soil, for the last three months, I have been uh, observing this uh, analysis of this uh, soil, the organic carbon is very low. And the phosphorus content and the nitrogen content has also been uh, very less. This is why you need to go for soil testing. Farmers, I advise the soil, uh, I advise all the farmers, whether they are uh, Gujarat farmers or any uh, Maharashtra farmers, all, they need to go for soil testing. They, they have to take the soil samples to the laboratory and get them tested for their organic carbon. I have analyzed 500 samples for the last three months and uh, more than 60% of the samples are less in organic carbon. This is a very critical factor. Organic carbon is the most important factor. Which, with the organic carbon less than 5.5% uh, organic carbon, we are not going to achieve good production. So I caution all the farmers to go for soil checking before stocking the seed. Then this is about the uh, transmission of EHP as already been uh, dealt by Dr. Jitendran well. These are the treatment, how they treat particularly this reduced potential. <clears throat> Why? Because this reduced potential is very important. The uh, sediment water interface is, is having more bacterial load, more than three, uh, three times the load of the water column. So that the more important, this particular uh, soil water interface, we need to go for a redox potential. It should not be a negative value. So all the farmers, they need to check this redox potential value also. Then coming to the lime. We need to go for lime checking, input, quality of the lime, calcium oxide. It is having a neutralization value of more than 179 to 200%. That particular calcium oxide only we need to use them in the pond which are affected with the EHP. Otherwise, other, other, uh, um, other limes, they are not that much important. So this should not be used with phosphate fertilizer. Again, fertilization is very important. Uh, lime should not be clubbed with phosphate fertilizers because there is always a precipitation of this one. So this is another important point we need to keep up. up. So now uh, this uh, disinfection of water with uh, uh, bleaching, that is more important, 20 to 30 ppm of bleaching is very important uh, to removal of 
all the uh, pathogens. Then we need to go for the, this particular fertilization, uh, organic, organic fertilization, based on the soil test that has been taken up. Uh, for this, we can also use this uh, application of farm made juices, the jaggery, yeast, and rice bran, uh, all these things. This, uh, these farmers are already using. This is very also a good concept, uh, which gives beautiful color to the water and maintains the pH of the water. So this is another important, vital importance is the selection of seed and PCR testing, screening of PCR test is very important. And the acclimatization, most of the uh, farmers, they are bringing the seed from the hatchery and directly shocking them. This is not the point, we need to acclimatize it at least for 15 to 20 minutes, that is very important, acclimatization is a very vital factor. Then, this is another nursery advantages of nursery, yesterday we have seen in the field how the nurseries are being very well maintained. Then water quality management, this is very important because water is the prime important uh, particularly for all the aquatic organisms. These are the parameters that need to maintain, particularly alkalinity, pH, we need to see and uh, there should not be any obnoxious gases like uh, ammonia and uh, nitrite. And uh, we are forgetting the basics, people in the earlier days, they used to go for such a disc reading. Uh, 25 to 40 centimeters such a disc and kind of plankton estimation is very important and nowadays we need to come back to the, the basics and uh, see the such a disc reading and the uh, soil fertility, uh, water fertility can be, um, can be checked with these uh, farmers are doing it now in Andhra Pradesh. Now ensure that aeration is properly done and uh, more than 5 ppm of uh, oxygenation will be done uh, for every 400 kgs of uh, Venami you need to put 1 HP of aeration, that is more important. And water test kits, SIBA has developed some test kits, these water test kits are vitally important. Check your water in the laboratories. In Andhra Pradesh, we have 300 plus laboratories. I, I, I was really, really astonished today, today, morning, uh, today morning, some of the people are saying that there is no lab in, uh, proper lab in Gujarat or uh, Maharashtra. And uh, we, there is every need, uh, because this is a very growing sector, there is a need to establish diagnostic laboratories. And uh, Minerals are vital important, calcium and magnesium, these are very important, this ratio 3 is to 1, uh, calcium to magnesium ratio 1 is to 3 ratio should be maintained and uh, sodium to potassium ratio 40, less than 40 is to 1, this is 28 to, 28 is to 1, this is very important and calcium to magnesium, potassium is very important, 1 is to 1 ratio should be maintained. So these minerals are very vital important and usage of probiotics particularly in the farm for effective management of the pond, we need to make, make use of these bio, uh, bio remediators in the pond which will reduce the disease outbreaks. Then we, there are certain risk factors by, by, by not properly treating the pond bottom, there is every possibility that we will get the uh, algal mats and water will become eutrophicated. And uh, this water should be sometimes formation of white foams and the pond uh, is already seen because of the uh, over uh, um, accumulation of organic matter. So we need to uh, proper, properly tackle these issues and uh, we need to test the waters in the laboratories now and then. So nowadays pond automation and the earlier speaker has seen pond automation and farm mechanization has uh, taken up. Importance of uh, information and uh, communication technology has cropped into aquaculture and uh, this is a vital important uh, because we have auto feeders, we have sensors for uh, estimating the, we have a lab inside the pond. Sensors are nothing but a lab inside the pond. So we need to check uh, water quality parameters by putting some sensors that they will give the information to your cell phones they, wherein you can directly operate the aerators from your uh, ho home itself. So the regular health checks uh, uh, is very important and uh, don't use any antibiotics. This is vital important, don't use any antibiotic in your culture operations. And we should have uh, uh, all the good harvest by following the meticulously the effective pond management. So record keeping is another important factor. You need to manage the records because everywhere uh, you need to know the status of the pond, whatever inputs you are giving, whatever fertilizers you are using, whatever the parameters you are monitoring, everything should be recorded. That will become an indication for your next crop where you can cut cost your uh, exercise, cutting uh, uh, expenditure can be cut short. This is very important to, to make use of record. Finally, our uh, Honorable uh, Prime Minister has uh, given a slogan, Socha Bharat, uh, Bharat uh, So, Swacha Bharat, nahi, Swacha Aquaculture, without any pollution, without any pollution, without any antibiotics. Let us make our aquaculture, uh, Swacha Aquaculture. Let Gujarat be a role model for this one. And uh, this is, in brief, I want to tell you, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity and particularly the SIBA organizers for giving me this opportunity. Thank you.